The Minecraft community has been the most interesting community I've ever been a part of. From finding the tallest strider, to the tallest cactus, to the pack.png world seed. It seems like we've discovered all there is to discover about this game. But there's one thing that's so obvious, yet nobody talks about it. Something that if you Google, you get a hundred images and then it just stops. Something so fundamental to the way that Minecraft works. And yet, here I am. Hi, I'm Kalo. I have 225 subscribers on YouTube and I need your help. By now, I would assume a lot of you are intrigued, but before that, I wanted to tell you that 95.2% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel, and I'm trying to flatten that out by the end of this video, so if you could drop a sub right now, that would be amazing. On April 16th, 2020, a young, inspiring 15-year-old YouTuber decided to upload a video about finding 10 diamonds in a single vein. What? Yo! 10? Lapis? No, 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 that's not possible. The maximum amount of diamonds that you can find in one vein is eight, stupid. It's written in the Minecraft wiki. How can you disagree with me? If you asked anybody who has played Minecraft for the past five years, this is exactly what they would say, or some other long or short version of this. But is it right? While it's true that the Minecraft wiki doesn't document any or spawning changes for all of Minecraft Java, they change something silently. What used to say three to eight diamonds per vein now says diamond ore can generate in the overworld in the form of blobs diamond ore attempts to generate one time per chunk in blobs of zero to ten ore so is that it is the max 10 diamonds <laughs> no not even close so what is it is it 1.5 times as much Maybe even two times as much? We might be stretching it, but maybe even 2.5? 2.7? What if I told you it was four times that? So this is the more elaborate take on the video. This is when I start spilling numbers into your head and talking about Minecraft mechanics. So if you don't like that, I'll have a timestamp for you to skip to if you just want to see the conclusion or chapter three. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Minecraft chunks. 16 by 16 by 384 as of the cave update, but 256 since we're talking about 1.16 right now. These are what make up all of Minecraft, the fundamentals of different biomes, of different spawns, and of different ores. And one of those ores is diamonds. There can only be one diamond vein per chunk. One diamond vein can be from zero to 10 blocks. So how do we get 40 diamonds in a single vein? Well, the short answer is, it's not a single vein. But it's also not clickbait, because these are veins conjoined together. You see, after a diamond is spawned, it doesn't care about chunk borders anymore. It doesn't matter if the diamond hits the chunk border or overlaps into a new chunk. If that one diamond that it started branching off of is assigned to one chunk, then another diamond can spawn in another chunk. 
So, in theory, if you have two diamond veins, and they're both sitting on the edge of their chunk, and they both meet together, they will combine. Say, by random chance, those two veins that are connected together by also random chance are both 10 diamond ore. You now have effectively a vein of 20 diamonds. The only difference between this vein and a standard vein is that this vein is at a trunk border and it also has way more diamonds. Now, take that and by random chance, it's in the corner of a chunk. Chunks are laid out in grids. Squares and grids means that there's a point on the square that is intersecting with three other chunks. Say these three chunks also spawn diamonds at the corner by chance. And finally, let's assume that all of these veins are 10 diamond ore each. We now have a grid from each chunk carrying 10 in a singular point, meaning they're able to be connected. And that gives us a 40 diamond vein. From what I've looked on online, I couldn't find anybody who has gotten this many diamonds. But I know it's possible, because I know we did the same thing with end portal frames. And that was also a 1 in 12 million or trillion chance. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a discord in the description that anybody can join. And basically what you can do is you can share your ideas for how we're going to find it. Share if you know anybody who has found it and maybe if this video does well enough if you're the one who finds it you'll be in the next video i hope you understand why you get so many diamonds in your minecraft world now basically what this video is is a crack in the algorithm i discovered it a year ago with that video and it's been laying dormant for an entire year an entire year an opening in the youtube algorithm has been laying dormant I'm slicing it open right now, and we'll see how it goes. And by that, I mean, I hope this gets a million views. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.